Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gaming. It's Christmas Eve, so we must do a Christmas edition special. We're going to have a look through all of the assets from the beginning of time and let's see what we can do with regards to a Christmas build. Let's do this. Kicking off this Christmas Eve edition, we have Mr. Mason with the Christmas tree. And what Christmas build is without a Christmas tree? You have to have one in. And this is a absolute beauty. Fantastic views both day and night. I love the light illumination. It is perfect. Something a little bit different here from Mr. Miyagi. We have some delivery trucks with a Christmas theme. And for me personally, and probably a lot in the people in the UK, it's not a Christmas until we see the Coca-Cola Christmas advert. And whilst this isn't the Coca-Cola, it's Chirpa-Cola, we all know what it's meant to be. Beautiful addition. The Christmas Winter Promenade is one of the most beautiful models that I've seen recently. It really does give that Christmas appeal. And, well, it's a walkway with lit up trees. They are fantastic. Those trees are the ones by Mr. Mason, but combined with these pathways, it creates that beautiful walkway across the snow. Mr. Miyagi really has gone Christmas berserk this year. He's created these side yards with a Christmas theme. These are actual parks, so it does bring in some uh, interest into the area. And they just look beautiful. They automatically change to the winter theme when you've got a snow map on. So otherwise you can use them as standard without snow. But we want snow, it's a Christmas edition. So this works beautifully. Next. Yep, you guessed it, it's Mr. Miyagi again, and he has produced the Christmas tree lot. So, not as common in the UK, but I certainly know this is big in America. Tree lots outside, the Christmas tree sign is by Space Dridel, and, well, combined together, work very nice indeed. A great addition just to add into your Christmassy theme. I'm certainly one to brighten up my house when it comes to Christmas time with lights. And Miss Miyagi has created the Christmas light bulb, both multicolored and soft blue that don't blink. And as you can see, it really does give a Christmassy appeal across the buildings. These shallow houses are also available on the workshop. Christmas decorated, so it's all done for you. You can add extra lights if you want to, but it's all there and ready to go. Now there are a lot of older assets on the workshop and Twilight Sun's 2x2 Christmas tree with snowman is still a popular one in my opinion. It's very simple, very basic, but snowmen are again very Christmas related and this is just nice to plop in those areas where there's not much going on. Pretty much where you would end up finding a snowman. Build is up next with the reindeer and well, we need something or someone to be able to pull Santa's sleigh, don't we? So a very good and festive animal to have in your city.
Going back to Snowman, we have The Snowman Park by Tom Cat. So again, this is a very old asset, back in 2015 in fact, but the age does not show on a snowman. So plop this down along with the other snowman and build yourself a snowman park. Talking of Snowman Park, we have a 4x4 snowman competition here. So a variety of different snowmen by Twilight Sun. All in a field, plop this down and create something special. I don't know about your town, but my town goes crazy for Christmas lights. And these street lights with illuminations by Targa are a prime example of that. Street lights take a new shape and have Christmas festive LEDs around them. And these are fantastic. We've looked at Christmas trees, but all about Christmassy trees. We have TPB's Pine Trees Snow Edition. So these are just good for background fillers to keep that snowy theme going. Continuing on from trees, we have the illuminated holiday tree prop. So these are tree branches with LEDs around it by Shishanio. Up next we have the public ice skate rink by Benny Media. And I don't know about you, but the capitals in the UK typically open outdoor public skating rinks, which are perfect and do not fit in well with the Christmas theme. With all this snow, we need to keep the roads a little bit more respectable, so the snowplow prop by Evania is perfect to have. Available as both a vehicle and prop, perfect for keeping those roads nice and safe. It's certainly not Christmas without a beautiful Christmas steam train, and here we have the 282 by Geometry E, and this just shouts out Christmas. I just love this train so much. Steam trains are beautiful, certainly with a Christmas themed background around it. Not only Miss Miyagi, but Titan has been going very strong this year with Christmas releases. He's been doing a Christmas weekend countdown with new assets released, and we've managed to catch a few. We've got a lot here. We've got the Christmas decoration pack, which comes with a Conifer Glowerland, Double Shooting Star, and a Hanging Advent Star. Titan has also released these beautiful lamp decorations as well, so similar to what we saw earlier, but these are a little bit more festive in terms of their decoration with LEDs, and they do look beautiful. A combination of both would certainly give a very nice appeal.
And we're not finished there from Titan. He's released some beautiful Christmas market stools, which we can see here, a combination of three. And not only that, but we have a Christmas market arena as well. So we've got a lot more stools and shelters and a few other little bits and bobs here. Mr. Mason's Snowy Bear Tree is another new release for this year and a fantastic one of that. You certainly don't see leaves on trees in the Christmas season and these with the capture of snow on look sensational. So guys, that brings us to the end of this special Christmas edition of the Weekly Asset Roundup. Now I'd like to take this opportunity just to give you all a big thank you for your support and your continued sort of following of the series and your comments and any ways for me to improve the show. It's been greatly welcomed and I look forward to continuing this series in 2018. So all that's left for me to say is I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And remember guys, this isn't all about presents. Be nice to each other, take care of each other and I'll see you all in 2018.